Hello everyone. Um, today we're going to look at how do you create and start publishing comics on Global Comics. And what we have prepared for you today is a quick little video on how to get started. Um, you'll notice here that the assets that I've prepared in advance is a PDF uh, for the first issue of the comic, the banner for the profile page, and the cover image for uh, the comic page. So why don't we jump right into it and get started. So the first thing that we'll want to do is navigate to our publisher page, the Manage Comics page section on Global Comics. Um, that will take you up to your list of titles and you'll be able to create a new title from here. So the first thing we'll do is we can create a new title. This is a title uh, of type comics and I'm going to add the title in. Now, the category for this particular title is, I guess what you'd describe as actions, I'm going to leave it selected there and then create my first comic. Great, so now we're in the manage your comics issues and releases section, but also some of the details about the title itself. We'll notice here that we have a title, a description about what the comic's about, and then a couple of settings for choosing the discoverability um, that readers might uh, encounter using the website. So why don't we dive directly uh, into this very quickly for on the themes section. I think we're uh, definitely looking for something that is a little bit monster-like, a little bit mystical. The title is named Freaks and Gods, obviously. Um, <clears throat> and then maybe something that's similar to like a superhero style. And the content is suitable really for teenagers and adults and upwards. And it's not really applicable to the Earth timeline. So I'm going to choose that here. We'll input a couple of tags separated with a comma as you would um, pretty much any online platform. Um, so I'm going to put in some of the tags here and we'll see. Save my changes. Get this nice little notification down here that the details have been updated. Great. So what do I need to do next? It says that in order for this comic to appear in lists, we need to upload a profile cover page. That would be so that the content that is being discovered in this browse comics section over here actually looks good and isn't using this default placeholder image. So why don't we jump right in? You'll notice the first thing here is that we have this choose a file uh, section. So we're going to go right in and we're going to go into our um, global comics uh, content. Let's see, so we want to go into our document, into our demo content, and we'll choose the cover page. Here we go. And as you can see, you can kind of pinch and zoom and make it fit. If, if your image isn't necessarily cropped directly for this. In this case, I want this particular thing to be my, my upload. So I can upload that, this little progress bar, and see now that the comic has a title. And the first of these notifications disappeared. So let's just say next. It says, create a new release in order to upload and publish your work. Each release can have one or more pages. So this would be the uh, volume or issue or chapter creation section of Global Comics. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new release right there. Um, interface looks similar to what I was just on. There's a title for the issue and some settings. It says it's not published. Um, and so I'm going to go in here. This is a demo title for Freaks and Guts. Let's save that here. Um, this particular release does not contain mature content and I want to actually make money off of this. So first thing I'm going to do is click on this um, section and then select my PDF. You see here that the PDF is kind of sort of checked off and that's it kind of in Global Comics appears to now be taking my PDF and discovering the images and pages that were in the PDF, um, processing them and uploading. So 
with this, um, we just kind of have to wait for the upload to, to finish. It's kind of cool to see here that the um, pager guys just kind of popping in as they as they get processed. The thing that's actually going on in the background is that Global Comics is taking the PDF and creating four different versions of the pages that it's uploading. The original source image at a very high resolution, a desktop can downsized uh, page version, a mobile downsized page, page version, and a thumbnail. And the reason why it's actually converting it into these four versions is so that we can serve the right file size uh, version to, depending on the experience of the reader. So that we're not hogging people's bandwidth and so that they have a, a smooth reading experience, not waiting for gigantic source files to download. Um, and also having high quality, high resolution content depending on the device. So if you, if you are reading on a desktop, um, you'll get the, the full HD kind of retina style uh, resolution and experience in the content. Looks like we're almost done here. There's two pages, two more pages to go. Um, let's see. There we go. And it now shows all of the pages are, are in here um, from 1 to 226. So I'm going to reload this page, see what happened shows now that all of the pages are free with this nice little badge uh, on here. And we'll see all the way down page 26. If for some reason you find that the page is uploaded in the wrong order, you can always just drag and drop uh, and change the ordering like such. So the next thing that we're going to do, we're not going to publish this yet. We're going to make sure that the this particular comic uh, is using the monetization feature on Google. So in order to do that, we're going to go back into the main settings for the title Freaks and God. And we're going to look at our advanced tab over here. So on the left here, we'll see, oh, we can actually add contributors. There's, we can have the comic in many languages. Um, licensing and monetization, that might be the place that I've got to go. The other settings that are in the advanced section is kind of the type and the, the language and when it first came out, etc. So I'm going to just leave this for now and jump right into the monetization part. So here it says, I'm eligible to make money by enabling paid access to my comics. That's great. Um, we summarize earnings daily, and if there are any, then you can see your daily totals in your income history. Great. Uh, on this particular account, my revenue share is 72%. Uh, sweet. So here's what it says. It says, free content preview model, either first three releases or first three pages of each release. I'm gonna, I don't want the first three issues to be free. I, I think it's fine with, with the first three pages. I'm gonna save that. Nice little success notifier down here. Um, and then here's the actual uh, licensing rule for, for this. I'm gonna check it off into paid over here and save. If we go back into our releases section now, we should probably see that, uh, right, so now the first three pages are free, that's exactly what we set up, and the remaining ones are now behind the paywall. So why don't we kind of look at what that looks like. So if we go in here, and we click view, and we actually start reading. Since I'm logged in as, as the owner, I don't get asked for a paywall. Um, you can see here that the content has been uploaded at really high resolution and it's fitting the reading experience nicely. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to go right back into to where I came from. We're now ready to publish this issue uh, live. And that is pretty much all that is required in order to get started with Global Comics. The monetization has been turned on. The first three are free. Actually, I, what I want to do, I think that the, the reader hook really happens on this page over here. So what I'm going to do before I publish is enable um, free access to this page and this page, all of these guys. So if we do that, we check this nice little box, uh, like always, Richard, leave, read. 
and we're going to save. Repeat the process a couple times uh, over here. Save, click over here, I'm going to save, and click over here, I'm going to save, and click over here, I'm going to save. So what we see now is the first three pages are free based on our default settings, and we've enabled always free for these subsequent pages. It's on page nine where the paid content um, paywall will actually kick in. We're now ready to publish this release. So I'm going to head over here and click on our publish button. And so let's see what are we asked for. Confirming that the title looks good and there's a date and time input field with time zone that says if the publishing date is in the future, the release will be scheduled for publishing at that time. This works very nicely for us in that we are planning an announcement on this um, in three days. So what we'll actually do is we'll go in and we'll put date of the 6th and we want this to go live at exactly 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. So we'll make sure New York over here, save this setting for my account and schedule and publish. And that's it. It says now release was scheduled and subscribers will be notified once it's live and ready. You can see in the status over here, um, the content is scheduled, it's not live, it's not accessible by anyone other than ourselves. And the intended publishing time is March 6, 2020 at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern. We can actually go in and edit that uh, should we want to. So we could potentially just say, actually, we want to go live right now. So we're going to choose today. And we're going to choose uh, our current time. So 1 p.m., we're past that at this point. Um, if we go in, we edit in this way, and we set the time to some time in the past or exactly right now, the issue will be live uh, once we hit this. I'm going to press this button. And now it says, your release was published and subscribers were notified. We'll see here that the status of this particular title is live. The publishing time is March 4th, uh, and that's it. So. Why don't we take a look at our, our comic page from back in here and look at the profile. We see that the content is now available on the profile page for the comic. Um, why don't we add a banner image while we're here? Choose this banner. Oh, this looks kind of nice. So I'm going to fit that in right nicely right there. Upload. And now we see this banner image is, is helping the branding of the title. We look at our uh, publisher feed. The title was just published. It's available, and readers can start reading. Um, why don't we take a look at what that looks like? So I'm going to go ahead and open Global Comics in the uh, in the incognito window over here, and I'm going to see what happens. Here, bring this over. We're in incognito mode. Um, we'll go in, we'll find uh, Global Comics title. Here's the uh, title that we pushed out live. And here's the reading experience. So the page is actually uh, out live. I can start reading and go through. Why don't we jump over to page eight over here and then see what happens when we hit our paywall? Oh, it says, continue reading the comic Freaks and Gods with credits. You completed your reading experience on the free sample pages. You get some credits to enjoy this and all premium content and global content. Sounds great. So thank you for, for watching. I, I hope that um, this nice little demo explains how easy it is to get started publishing and, and putting your content up with monetization on global comics.